Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris Chase with the Western Flyer Foundation. And in this video, I just want to dive deeper into the hull framing on the flyer, or more specifically, that last 16 feet of the boat, where she's built out using 18 pairs of double sawn Douglas fir frames. She was built in 1937 using Douglas fir, and we'll be replacing it with Douglas fir today. Yeah, yeah, it fits in there more or less. I just had to make a little adjustment. Maybe let that one off a little bit. Get started in there. It's pretty tight. It doesn't fit in that pocket. It's starting there now. Shoot those screws off in there, bro. everybody realize how slow this process is. Before I go any further, I kind of want to talk about the anatomy of a double sawn frame and why it's called a double sawn frame and not a single sawn frame. So here in front of us we've got a great example, right? The whole stern of this boat is double sawn frames. It's two pieces of wood paralleling each other, bolted together, cut to the same curved shape and bevel. And the reason we do it this way is we're working with a short grain wood like Douglas fir. We don't want to cut too far across that. We end up with a lot of short grain. So we end up cutting shorter pieces of wood called futtocks. We end up staggering those futtocks and overlapping them with a board forward or aft, bolting them back together. And that's what makes up that double sawn. Two pieces of wood, each one cut to the same shape, but kind of reinforcing as we go up and around the curve of that boat. Okay. Well, the way we intended it was he just bent it out. That's what, so that's what I'm going to go for. Paul, hold on. I'm not doing it's anything. It, it's coming out when it's out. I don't think we need to beat it. Let's well, uh, hold it. Yeah, it's coming out. Just Okay, there we go. It's out. Perfect.
A lot of people stopping by to see the flyer notice right off the bat that it transitions from sawn frames to steam bed frames right about the stuffing box or where the propeller shaft leaves the boat. And they ask, well, why isn't it just one or the other, all steam or all sawn frames? And it's really a combination of those two different types of framing methods that allows us to build both the size of the Western Flyer. If she was much longer than this into the 80 foot range, it would all be sawn frames. And if it was quite a bit smaller, it might be all steam bent frames. But because the belly of the boat in running forward allows us to steam bend that three by four inch piece of white oak around it, we use steam bent frames. And in the stern of the boat, where it starts to be a more exaggerated wine glass or an S shape, returning to the keel more exaggeratedly, we actually need to cut or saw that shape into the timber to allow that frame to hold that shape of the boat.
could drill all the way through and counterbore both sides and just put the carriage bolt in, but then you got to counterbore on both sides.
and thanks for taking the time to watch the video. And I hope you enjoyed following along through all the steps to make a new saw and frame. Pete Stein worked for a full day on that frame, from wrecking it out to making it and installing it new. It was a full day. And I hope you took the time to watch our most recent video on our YouTube channel about Berea College, White Oak, and Sustainable Harvesting. And if you're looking for more information about the Western Flyer or the Western Flyer Foundation, I'll put a link in the description box to our website, westernflyer.org. And if you want to get more daily updates, you can always follow along at Chase Boat Builder on Instagram. Thanks again for watching.